Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Products Review 691. I am your host Mike. I got a decent show planned for you. Please like and subscribe to the program coming on the hottest, the hottest on the gram. That is Products Review underscore 691. Have we, have we got the surprise for you? Eugene Steinfeld, as promised, with loyalty points, I got gotcha, you, because I didn't want to try any of the other ones, the peach crumble cookie. Now, uh, the restaurant has been uh, talking about it. They've been, uh, Crumble has been, uh, bu the buzz has been around. Uh, it's been around uh, all week. Last week, people were talking about the peach cookie, the peach cookie, the peach cookie's coming out. Everybody's got to try it. Well, on this show, we test, test, test. We're always testing, just like we're going to test the snowblower. No snow yet, but we will see. There are other products coming in the mail. Several Timu packages as well are here. Uh, we're just getting this out because we have fans that demand they want to see the crumble cookie. Crumble peeps, you know who you are. You're in the group. I will keep on doing the crumble cookies because I know you guys like them. Uh, what was your favorite cookie this week? I'd like to know. Curious if I should try another one, uh, depending on what you guys uh, think. I'm going to tell you how what I think of this bad boy right here. And first things first, you know these are real peaches and you could smell it. But I brought a little treat on with you to, to sample for you. Not the red uh, Winter Wonderland 7-Eleven uh, cocoa. So my 7-Eleven didn't have Winter Wonderland red cocoa. But it did have the regular Winter Wonderland cocoa. So why not try the cookie and then wash it down with the 7-Eleven Winter Wonderland cocoa. Anyway, back at the ranch. We're going to put this down here on the side here. I don't want to drop that, otherwise we have a big cleanup. We're here to talk about the crumble cookie first, and then we'll wash it down there with that cocoa. Interesting enough, the crust. I'm going to sample the cookie crust before. Mmm. That's a good sugar cookie crust. Guys, this is a treat so far. We're going to get all of that in. Mmm. The glaze on this is excellent. Eugene, uh, Steinfeld, man, I am so thankful that you guys watched this show and, and got me into ta tasting this. Um, the peach bursts in your mouth, like, as far as the flavor goes. And the, the cookie is so soft, it's not even funny. This two cookie was purchased around 12 noon. And it's still freaking good. Um, I like the presentation of the little spread they put on top. Ladies at the store, you know who you are. You did awesome on this one. Um, what I dislike? Hmm, what I dislike about it? Went a little bit towards the pie. Too much pie taste. Like a pie crust, but not a good pie crust, like a cheap pie crust from, let's say, your cheapo uh, pie crust at the grocery store. It's a step above that, but it's leaning towards the store-bought cookie crust, so I'm not a freaking fan. I'm dipping along. You have to. So maybe I would glaze around the pie, maybe, I don't know, because you don't want... You don't actually... When you're making a cookie like this... You actually don't want to go towards uh, making it taste like crummy pie crust. If you're going to do it, I can't even, I, there's several, I'm trying to think of, it's not coming to my head, of some of the pie crusts that are just like really good, but uh, Marie Callender's makes a good pie, but their pie crust is terrible. I'll be honest with you, not a fan. Uh, I usually throw the pie crust away if I'm eating that. Let's try some of this Winter Wonderland cocoa to rinse it out before we have some more uh, trying of the, the fruit. The Winter Wonderland Cocoa is good. It's got a bite to it. If you have bad breath or something like that, uh, go grab yourself some cocoa there in the afternoon before you have a piece of gum. This thing has so much uh, peppermint. It, it's the holiday season. You got to get it. But don't drink, don't drink a full thing of this because you will be on a sugar high. So we're rinsing that out. Man, that's some good stuff. But we're not there to do the review on that. We just said... Let's just get some Winter Wonderland cocoa and try it. And the the heat from this from the Winter Wonderland uh, cocoa 
it is hot there. So let's get back to this cookie here. Mm. I don't know where they got the peaches, but guys, the peaches on this cookie are like peaches from the the orchards. I don't know if you've ever, if any of you ever been to an orchard. Um, I have. You know, the kid we used to play in the orange and peach orchards in Arizona. Yes, Arizona has peach orchards. They do have them. Uh, we used to eat peaches straight off the vine. Peach pie, peach cobbler, peach dessert, you name it. We had all kinds of peach stuff. But this, the fruit ain't cheap fruit. Now, you guys know what I'm talking about because there are some restaurants that will take some peach and they'll give you that $1.99 fish tackle uh, peach uh, peaches. No. I don't know where they got the peaches from. The glaze is an excellent compliment to it. Uh, but the fruit, it doesn't taste like canned fruit or anything. Probably is, maybe, I don't know, but it seems like it's not. They fooled, they got me fooled. It feel, it tastes like regular straight off the fruit, straight off the tree picked, uh, fruit. It's kind of crazy how it is. I don't know what they did to fool me, but I'm liking it. I'm giving this cookie... What would I give it? I give it an 8.5. What brings it down is just the end part of the. They could have went more sugar on this. I hate, I don't. I mean, I don't want more sugar. But let's not try to get too cute and make it really taste like pie crust. You know, like the dirt cookie. The dirt cookie really tastes like dirt, and I know what dirt tastes like because I ate dirt when I was a kid, and I've eaten dirt playing baseball and doing sports and everything. Cross country, people do stupid stuff and everything. You guys, we joke around back in the day in high school. Yeah, we're not in the in the in it for crumble. We don't want to head towards the realm of say the jelly bean, where we don't want a booger cookie, we don't want a dirt cookie. Like and for pie, that's fine, but maybe you guys think I'm being critical. But I don't want it to taste like, if you're going to make it taste like a pie, make it go a little more sugar. Get some cookie mix in there because the pie crust tastes a little bit like cheap pie crust. And that's not what you want to go for. So that's my highs and lows of this. Um, I'm going to keep on banging out reviews because I am backed up. You're probably going to see me drop one every day. Uh, several team moves I got to get through. Several free promotion ones I have to get through too. I have to get through those because we got a lot of uh, free product from uh, Influencer, Pinch Me, Biz Agent. All of them are sending us products. Uh, we're waiting for the snowstorm uh, so we can do the snowblower. We got flag pullbacks up. You're going to see several videos from me coming up. So uh, this was for my Crumble fans. Uh, I appreciate all of you and I appreciate everybody that subscribes to the channel. Thank you for making this channel grow. Uh, we're not going to talk too much about the 7-Eleven hot chocolate. I wasn't really a fan. Uh, I'm, it, it's just it's way too sweet for me. But some of you might like it. It does have a it does have a a decent bite to it and things like that. But that's for that's um, this is not what this is all about. But we did have some. I'm putting this one in the same review because I'm giving this uh, about seven six six and a half seven for hot chocolate. But uh, you know, it, it's it's uh, convenience store hot chocolate, so what do you expect? It's not gourmet or anything. Uh, but it beats out some of your uh, ones that claim they're gourmet that are not gourmet. So please like and subscribe. Don't make it a dog show. Thank you, thank you for being fans again. You have uh, safe travels over the weekend, even though I'll be back tomorrow. If you are traveling and you're out, best of luck. Good night now!